The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell, make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Now, let's go to Luke 15. Mumi Luke 15. Luke 15, verse 1 to 2. Okay, let me just touch Matthew 21 before I come to look. Matthew 21 from verse 28. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, those of you on Zoom. Especially if I know your name, then I'll mention your name. So pray that I don't know your name. And so if I know your name, I'm sure people are just going off. <laughs> they are going off camera. Uh, uh, yeah, but Matthew 21, 28, 29 says, What do you think? This is Jesus' question. There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, maybe the eldest and said, Son, go and work today in my vineyard. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, then let's listen to the reply. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. So he has repented. He changed the mind and went. Okay. 20, 20, 30. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will say, but he did not go. Did you also re repent? Aha. Uh -huh. So, Did he repent? Okay. He also repented. He changed his mind. Because repentance is change of mind. Now, the first one said, I will not. And he changed his mind later. And he went. The second one said, I will. And he changed his mind and he did not go. So they both repented. <laughs> but as to the direction of the repentance is what is very important. Some people repent, come to the church, they repent again and they leave the church forever. Like Dimas, he has loved the world, so he leaves the church. So repentance is just simply change of mind. It is the action that will prove the direction or the genuineness of what you have in your mind. So can you put those uh, uh, you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure somebody has answered for them. So some of them they are doing, Did say, they, the cross. doing the sign of the cross. Yeah. Okay, so uh, but I can't see them well. Mm -hmm. But I can see Pastor Juma and wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's move on. Yeah. Now, illustration number two. Mm -hmm. Luke 15, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Now, this is about the prodigal son. We if I about the self one. 18 says that I will set out and go back to my father. This is the prodigal son speaking to himself or maybe thinking. And say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Now, if you read it in verse 20 says that, So 
he got up and went to the father verse 18 alone is not enough i will set out and go back to my father there are many of us who keep saying i will i will leave that man i will not follow that man again i will but you will never leave that man <laughs> we used to have this lady in our church somewhere many yeah, well, years ago yeah, well, mommy, well, yeah, sorry, you know, she was so smart yeah, nah, 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 nah. sometimes we hear so many bad things about her but she was our number one chorus leader yeah. we couldn't just dispense of her <laughs> because and uh, she was so smart. You, uh, she knows how to maneuver her ways. But uh, there were a whole lot of rumors. But she is like, I will stop, but she never stops. Now, Osha, Bribiemu, Atesem, Bibria, Efano, Hono, Na Ahometi, because if you say, Oh, you'll be a, oh, you'll need three, four pounds. So, yeah, I said, No, 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 the one day we went to church it was an evening church service. The message was powerful. And this lady was weeping and weeping. And so those of us, the boys, were even in church, we were telling one another, today yeah, our sister has changed. <laughs> the following week, it was <laughs> <laughs> so repentance is not weeping it's, it's a change of mind back by an outward ash i will set up and go to, set out and go to the father and he he got up and went to the father now sorry banaja and jane Repentance. So repentance is to turn or to return. And the adjuncts are trying to and they say, "Nipa no ordinary no, a frequent be so and as ordinary no, as I have changing ways. Say a quiet or nam so no or say sano. Turn or to return. Ordinary no abba and as or say abba. Theologically, it is turning from darkness to light and turning from Satan to God. As chapter 26. Let me start from 17. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I'm sending you to them. I'm sending you to them to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith. Now we free Satan to me I say abo nyankopon chen na we nyaboni fache ne ejapade won a wode oji a wagi me din adie no ate won hunu mu now repentance is also to turn away from dead works works or us that leads to spiritual death inti ajun sachira ene say ye dwane afri ne bone ho ana say no ma ye ya edie be ko Hebrews 6 verse 1. We can read together if you can, as many of you that have sharp eyes and you can see. Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to not laying again the foundation of repentance from us that lead to death. And to Yeah, so we are saying that Paul uh, Hebrews is saying that some words leads to death. And in your Hebrew, 
The repentance is turning away from these acts. Now re repentance is to be demonstrated by this. I'm sure by this time you have understood that repentance is to be demonstrated by this. So we have been such as a sign in the as chapter 26 verse 20 are we together okay. let's read together if you can first to those in damascus then to those in jerusalem and in all judea and then to the gentiles i preach that they should repent and turn to God and demonstrate their repentance by their deeds. Now me come to the one who was Damascus, Kane. The one who was Jerusalem, the Judea, as I see now. So, the amount of men no say one such and one gene. Now one na the emro nyango poncheng. Now one ye inuma except. So when Paul was saying that believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, he also had it in mind that they should demonstrate that by their deeds. Now John the Baptist will say that bring forth fruit. Yeah. To prove your repentance. The demand of the cross is repentance. Now in Galatians 1, the apostle Paul says in verse 22, I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. Smart for Paul say and or can or Galati for Mama Itibaco yet chassi when you made you know me no or sena you dear as a for no who Christo Muno in Nimenim. They only heard the report. What report is that? The man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. Now that is repentance. Let's read 24 together. I want you to shout it. Ready go. And the praise God. Because, because of, of me. me. Yeah. You see, people will not have to struggle to believe that Jesus came to die. If those of us who have believed lived a life of repentance, they will not struggle to believe. See, when one gives his life to Jesus and the person repents and he counts in faith, heaven rejoices. When this person back his life with genuine repentance, the earth will also praise God. See, genuine faith must produce good works to learn evidence of belief now genuine faith must produce good works it it learn evidence of what you believe now james 2 verse 17 now in the same way faith by itself if it is not accompanied by action is dead mm -hmm. i want to ask a question verse 18 but someone will say you have faith i have this this James was nicknamed James the Just. No, 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 it was straightforward. Now listen to what he's going to say. Show me your faith. Eh, Reverend Amakuhi, do you have faith? Do you have faith in Christ? Show me your faith. Show me. Let me see your faith. You, how can you, he's doing this. How can you show me your faith? How many of you have seen faith walking in Accra before? Now, let's see. 
Na Yakobo say na o kan. O say na e bia obi kan say wo wo gidie na menso me wo enwuma kire me wo gidie. Show me your faith without this and I will show you my faith by my deeds by my action. Kire me wo gidie a enwuma nimu na menso me de me nwuma be kire wo me gidie. J I Parker has defined repentance as this. J I Parker all can be such an one same say and no kire Now, repentance is changing one's mind so that one's views, the way he views things, his values, his goals, and ways are changed. And one's whole life is lived differently. Let's go back to that. Don't, don't go ahead. So let's take the first part, yes. And he said, Nipano, or Sachira Nagunina, or Sachira Nagunia, and Ma said, You see, so that and Norma, one's views, yes. And he said, You see, who knew, dear for his values, and in Norma, or Jitum, his goals, and the Botaya and Ananiswadu, and his ways, and in Nakwainina, are changed. And Sachira Kra, and one's whole life is lived different. Now, we know, or Bob Rabois, as Sachira. The change is radical. Yes. So there are some people who are saying, I will say I'm repenting small, small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm repenting little by little, my friend. <laughs> repentance is radical. The growth may be gradual. The maturity may come day after day. But repentance, it's when somebody has repented, the person has repented. That is why when the person sins, he knows that I've sinned. Because in his mind, he has repented. He is living a changed life. The repentance is both Inwardly and outwardly. As I no, David said, even the meditations of my heart. David The meditations of my heart. Let them bring glory to you. And share what so, The change is both inwardly and outwardly. Now, mind and the way he judges things. Now his will and his affection. Oh no no, yeah, his affections. any yeah. yeah. Behavior and lifestyle. Motives and purpose are all involved in repentance. That is why Peter told Simon, You have not repented. His motives and his purpose was wrong. Now repentance means starting to live a new life. And this is my best life. <laughs> we, any mifonia, yeah. eh, mifi, ye, pa. Yeah, I like I like the image. Me, persenia, yeah. nipa, no, unhu, se, dia, oh, yen, nipa, Repentance no. means starting to live a new life. I can such and say, who shall see a bo a brabo for fro. And he died for all. Yeah, a woman, nipa, nina. That those who live should no longer live for themselves. But for him who died for them. And was raised again. True repentance should lead to conviction. Now, a fix and a firm belief in what they have. People who have really repented, they are arrested by their faith. Apostle Asor Monsa. Nipa, unwa sachi na wadju nipa yye no, unwa sa no, a che chiri wa mkura. Yeah, no clever argument, no persuasive facts or theory can make a dent in their conviction, in the rightness of their position. Bribiere niwe betu miya sachi na wadju nipa yye no, 
not even the food offered by Nebuchadnezzar will change Daniel's resolve and conviction. Not, not, not even distance from home can make him change his mind. There are certain Christians when they are in Ghana, hallelujah, when they get to America, it's a different story. Now, true repentance should generate real conviction. But let me end by saying that repentance is not always turning away from sin. Repentance is all also turning away from things like slothfulness, indolence, behavior, and all that. There are certain things that are not necessarily evil, but people, they hardly go to church. They don't even read their Bibles. They are that kind of people that causes trouble in marriage and all that. They are not necessarily sinning. But, you see, it is like the church, the churches in Asia Minor. There are certain things that God may not be pleased in your life. And I want to call upon you to repent in that manner as well. That 31st night, as for this year, I, I will, I will, I will read the Bible, <laughs> but they never read one chapter <laughs> for 365 days. Now, Romans 12, 11 says that never be lacking in zeal. But keep your spiritual fervor. Serving the Lord. That act of serving the Lord. With spiritual fervor. And if we are slacking in it. Let us repent. And then keep the fire burning. Daily. Every moment, keep the fire burning. Okay, can Roman 4, Roman 8, do me a in you move to Bakuna. Or say, Munye, Modimbo, Munye, Modimbo, Munya. Munye, who must say. Monsum Eurade, to Yakupo and Shakuansi, the Namia, and was so bo, a besumono abribia. Brothers and sisters, I don't know. See what great love the Father has lavished on us. Monsieur Odoqua, a Jano Ediadoye, that we should be called children of God. The one friend, Unyakupoma, and that is what we are. Not ye, and so the reason the world does not know us is that it does not know him. Yentia, we are seeing Nimi and say, Wunimono, dear friends, I don't know. We are children of God. And what will become has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him just as he is. Then John just ended that portion by saying that all who have this hope in him purify themselves that is continually repenting from evil, just as he is pure. And he died for all. That those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. The demand of the cross is not just singing about the risen Lord or any other that will becoming an elder, a pastor, and all that. The demand of the cross is what? Repentance. Maybe you are listening to me and you are not born again i want you to know that god did not bring his son jesus to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved so you are not the worst of sinners we were like you but just believe and repent and you will your life will never be the same again he will give you salvation you experience eternal life. Now, if you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer after. Me. Dear Lord, 
acknowledge that Jesus died for me. Jesus say Jesus Christ o wi man today and na day I repent of my sins. And I accept him as my Lord and personal Savior. Come and dwell with me forever. But if you have prayed this simple prayer in faith, you are born again. You are born again. Rise and back this faith with this. God bless you.